In this video, it's just a reminder, if you're taking your Garmin handheld GPS device abroad and you want to see a grid reference displayed on various pages that you can display your map grid reference to change in your settings the position format to suit the grid reference for the country that you're going to. I'm using a GPS map 67i device as an example in this video. All of the Garmin handheld devices that we stock and sell, when you go into your main menu in settings, you will have an option for position format. That is where we change the grid system. So we're just going to take a quick look at that and give you an idea of some different grid systems that you may select for different countries. Below this video, I will put a link to a PDF where we've got some other examples of popular position formats that are used in different countries. We'd always say do your research before you go into a different country and find out what grid system that country is using on their maps or if you're buying guidebooks for that country find out what grid system the guidebook is using so you can cross refer it with your handheld GPS device. So in the GPS map 67 I'm using it in Great Britain at the moment so I've got it set as a British National Grid Ordnance Survey System. So I'm just going to go to my main menu. So on this unit I'm just going to press my menu button twice and I'm in my main menu. So whatever handheld device you've got, you want to get to your main menu and you're going to have a setup option somewhere. And in my setup I'm looking for a one called Position Format. If I press enter on position format, if you've got a touch screen, you'll touch on position format. I can see at the top it tells me British Grid Ordnance Survey GB. So if I took a typical Ordnance Survey map for Great Britain, so I'm just going to move the GPS to the side for the moment. So this is actually an Explorer map that I'm using on our GB Ordnance Survey maps. When I actually go to the key, there is actually some text explaining a little bit about the National Grid System OS GB. So that's what I've got my unit set for at the minute because I'm in Great Britain. That means my unit will display a grid reference that I can cross refer with my Great Britain Ordnance Survey paper map. But of course if I'm going to another country, so I'll just bring the GPS device back into view. I'm not going to use British Grid which I've got at the top. So if I press enter Again, on your touch screen, you would touch on your touch screen, and we have a list of grid systems. Some countries do have their own system. I can see straight away at the top, Dutch grid. I can see Finnish grid as I move down, German grid. So whatever unit you've got, if you scroll up and down, so I've actually used the up arrow on my unit, we have some longitude and latitude sort of universal settings. So you may find one of the longitude and latitude works best for you. Again, depending on what your guidebook or map displays when you do your research, but some of the more obvious ones, we've got countries listed. I know from experience and chatting to customers um, who um, travel abroad, I'm going to just use France as an example. A number of customers who I've had going to France have bought IGN maps in France that say they're GPS friendly on the front cover, and they actually use a system called UTM. So I'm just going to scroll further down the list and you can see the ones coming up on the screen. So again, check your own unit. Some countries I've noticed, New Zealand here, we've got two options. So do the research before you go to New Zealand to find out what the guidebook or map, if you are buying paper guidebooks or map, which grid system they're using. And just as I get near the bottom, you can see this one called UTM UPS. I know a number of European countries do actually use that system. Um, I have seen it used in Spain as well as France. So again, do your research before you go. But if you did want to change the system in the unit on this device, I'm just going to press enter and then it's changed the position format. I normally use the default map datums, but if you've got a guidebook that gives you different information and you find you can not change that, again, do your research first. But normally I just leave it set as the default one. I'm gonna put this one back to British Grid now. When I'm actually on the British Grid system, we can't actually change. If I go down to map datum, that's preset, so we can't actually change it. Sorry, I just came out of position format, so we leave it as British Grid. But if you are going abroad, just remember 
on your unit to change that position format. Have a look at the list that's there, compare it with um, information that you've got from the country that you're going to regarding maps or guidebooks you're buying. Some of the, the common ones we will have on the PDF link below. And just to give you an example on my unit now, so on my GPS unit, if I go to my main menu, I've actually got an icon called satellite. Some of the units, um, if you don't see satellite, you can use the add page and add from application satellite. So on the touchscreen units, you might have an add page if you've got something like a Montana 700 unit add page, but you should see an option then called satellite. If I press enter on satellite, I can now see my ordnance survey British National Grid, so it's telling me BNG grid reference at the top. So I can cross refer that with a paper map, a grid reference out of a guidebook. It may be you just need to read out where you are to someone um, so they can come and find you. If you purchased your device from GPS training, you do get access to our online training course for a year, as well as email and telephone support as part of your purchase. On our online training course, we have loads more videos that go into a lot more detail on settings and using your GPS device. And on those videos, we do have examples of where you can find a grid reference on your unit. You can set up data boxes that have grid references, um, as well as going to the satellite screen. If you haven't bought your unit from us and you would like one of our support packages, when you go on the gpstraining.co.uk website, under GPS store, we do have support packages where you can purchase our online training courses. We have many, many videos that cover the latest generation Garmin GPS devices. But we hope you found this video useful. It's just a reminder before you go abroad to change your grid system. If you didn't change the grid system, it's not going to stop your unit working in respect to seeing yourself move across a map, recording an activity, following a route on your unit. But when you go to the satellite page, if you've left your unit as BNG, British National Grid, we will not see a grid res reference along the top of the screen here. And thanks for watching.